Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hansel and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, where is our rocket ready to start again? Yes, it is. So, which means we have to turn everything off down here. We have to retract that. We have to open up here and once the rocket is uh, on its way, I can tell you what we are planning to do today. So, um, star map is here. I think last time we were on this one, so let's go to the other one then. On the other hand, last time we made quite a bit of progress here on, on this side. We hooked up this many bunker doors and the lasers below so uh, we can deal with these things. We also have a few solar panels to get extra power. But we are not done yet, so probably... Uh, Today we will finish the the roof here, uh, this set up there, and here we need to bring up more power, which I have prepared here with two additional transformers. Uh, maybe we will need two more to reach to the all to the end. But we will see about that. Uh, these could also be uh, somewhere in in this area. Uh, then there is of course the, the pipe that we want to get up there as well. And we are collecting space materials. Last time um, we created our uh, cargo rocket and we plan out this space here and this is basically our uh, production site or will eventually be our production site for, uh, uh, for liquid oxygen and hydrogen and i also want to make a bit of, of progress there but uh, as you might be aware with duplicants if you give them too many tasks uh, nothing um, gets done so let's focus on one thing after the other and uh, i think Maybe we want to finish uh, this off, then this off, and then also this this rail here, so we actually get the uh, unloaded cargo right here on the side of our molecular forge where we need it, um, so we do not have to worry about carrying things back and front, reducing the amount of work our duplicates have to do. So, let's jump to the future when all this is done. While the duplicates have been busy up here, um, we still need a bit more work to do there, because we also need uh, petroleum. Um, we can get that from in here. And... However, we have a slightly bigger problem. Calories are not looking good. And if we look in here in our base, we can see all our farm is not growing because actually now it's 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 too warm. Simple as that. 
what I tried to do is have here uh, two thermoregulators that cool the air down. So we have incoming here uh, around 55 degrees uh, and then we get around 30 degrees uh, coming out but that's still too hot I think so maybe what we need in addition is um, a bit more cooling here um, and I mean these produce heat by themselves so that's not a really good solution better setup would be something like this here and then use that to to cool the base um, so let's figure that one out um, so let's to this then all the way to here and have a ladder going that way take that out and destroy this and then I think here we do not need that uh, powerful setup where we have uh, three aqua tuner. We can have just one or two. Um, but yes, yeah, so it will take a while. Uh, actually, we can take this four out already. And then, of course, we need cooling pipe. from here on we will have something like this and then we will have to figure out how to to connect all this up we do not have any hydrogen nearby i think this input is here. We could deal with that as well. And then, of course, we have to make this vacuum. So that should not be a, a nosh beam. Um, should not be big of a problem. It's mainly figuring out uh, can we do this in time before our duplicants die of hunger. And 
hopefully we get something edible out of here. Hubble, yeah. You can wrangle it. But I guess I will uh, once again jump a bit ahead until we have made some progress there. Um, and you have already seen how this setup works up, up there. So there's not anything particular new about this here. In the meantime, the duplicants managed to finish this setup, and I think we do have enough water down here, so we can actually close off here. And here we have the small basin for our coolant. Uh, I am using salt water because then we can cool it down roughly to zero degree without worrying about freezing in the in the pipes uh, I just want to get the water that's in here out so let's do that then we can also close up off up here and all we need to do then is we need somewhere to connect yep here the bridge so we can get the uh, hydrogen in there and then we are good to go we will first uh, cool the salt water down a bit because that's at 50 degrees a bit too warm uh, for the for the cooling but then uh, we have this cooling loop going around here basically just through the farm area uh, so we can ensure um, our calories are a bit more stable and in order to not starve i had to thin out uh, our hedges a bit but they will come back and we do have quite a bit uh, of coal inside so not to worry there um, also add a bit of what is the codes uh, uh, mainly because i said maybe we should take a bit more care of this farm it's quite good for me and up here the, the first super coolant in here it's not uh, very much 400 kilogram um, but once that's filled um, we will need that for this setup over here uh, to do the cooling um, our rocket is apparently again back so let's set this up for the next round and hopefully in one of the next episodes we will have uh, the liquid oxygen uh, ready. And we can already place that bridge there. Nice. That means we can also have the priority there. Then here on this side I have two, um, two switches. This pump is for uh, cooling it down, and this one is the one going through the base. And as you can see, we have a similar setup here, where we use the cooled down um, 
Soul Torture to then cool the engine here on top. So we should see... Yeah. We're splitting the, the, the hydrogen here. So actually, once we have the first in there... Actually, I think we can already start. Uh, because the water needs to be up to become steam for the steam turbine. So we're coming in at 50 degrees, going out at 20, 40. Again, um, that's not Everything falls apart, we can just use uh, one tuner uh, there uh, to make it uh, happen. Because I think uh, with just a small loop, uh, we do not pull out too much heat that we cannot cope with this one aquatuna there. Yeah. So far, I also have not been lucky with getting any food out of the printing pot. Just a few uh, larva eggs, um, which we could turn into omelets. Uh, but we could also wait for them to hatch and then get some meat out of them. Uh, and once again, nothing edible out. Here, the temperatures are still too warm. Uh, I think I have to uh, get a bit more meat out of here. And then I think we will just have to wait until we can actually use this salt water um, to cool down our base. We do have a setup here that is working. I had to remove one of the aqua tuna because it was made out of iron ore. Not good. And at that time we did not have enough steel for a second one. But even so, the salt water in here now is at 20 degrees. 
we are already pumping it uh, through our base and as you can see a few of the crops are already growing again and checking the temperature you can see down here we are no longer in the orange area we have plus 30 degrees but in the yellowish area where we are barely uh, below 30 degree and we need below 30 degree for these crops to grow uh, however in the meantime uh, had to uh, uh, slaughter some creatures to get by um, so I think the worst is over and probably now no still no food yes. usually you get food when you don't need it but when you need it no food. <coughs> so up here aside from a few uh, rocket starts i did not make any further progress we have a bit of uh, super coolant that we will need uh, and I guess next time we will finally manage to uh, turn our attention to this space here um, so that we can then finally upgrade our rocket. So in that case don't forget to subscribe so you know exactly when the next episode is out. Until then, goodbye!